Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to learn about seeding. Okay, seeding in Laravel. What is it? How to generate seeder file? How to uh, put data seeding, run seeding for database, and also loop seeding for database table. Okay. So what is seeding? Seeding is used for dummy data to the database tables. Why? Because you want to test, uh, you need the data to test your application. So you need to input it to your uh, table by manually or you run the actual script. Okay, it's a very difficult. Instead of this, it might easier for you for Laravel, it provides the uh, function called seeding. You just create the seeding and you run the script in Laravel. It will automatically generate all the data what you want to need. Okay, you can generate thousands of data or how much you want. Okay, so now let's go to create the uh, seeding together and test and how to do it. So here is my project. Mm. Now we start. I want to clear all my commands. So now I create one seeding for uh, generate the data record for the item. Okay, table item here. So the script for create it, you can go and write like this: PHP addition make. Okay, sheet there, and you, you put your name, put this uh, seating name, so item, seater. Okay, now I grade it. Let me go to database, and you can see the folder seater. I'm looking for item seeders so now you write a script for insert to the table item so the first you need to import the database class so you use illuminate support fast and db okay and in this case I use the string function also so I need to import it so by doing like this support and um, FTO it means string FTR so now I start to insert write script for insert to the table item DB DB tables you put the table name my table name is item okay so you put insert function insert please look in the field in table you can see id item unit okay so the id is automatically generate so we need to insert only three column item unit description so you can write in here sorry let me again item okay item you use functions string and then uh, random and how much string you are generated in this I need only 10 character I copy this one pass it okay and here we put unit and description unit sorry unit this description all of this I but for unit I just need only five characters I save it now 
let's dummy the data so you use this script php at um, db seeds and you put keyword class it is a run for the specific cedar file okay equal and then you put uh, a cedar file item cedar i just enter it and you can refresh in here let me okay you can see is the data that we have uh, do it. You can run it one more screen. Okay. Refresh it. You can see one more row comes like this. So now the last one is how to loop it. For example, I need 100 record. Just run only one script. You can do in by using for loop. Yes. For loop, you can specify parameter i equal zero. Mm, I mm, smaller than one hundred. Okay, and then i plus plus. Then you copy this insert cut it and pass it in loop and save it this is a real um, insert 100 record to your database table you save it and run script again enter it looking your database table refresh here yeah. and you can see here is a lot of table came in and you can so like this so that is very easy for you to dummy data and it very uh, useful for testing application okay so that's all for my presentation about uh, seeding and see you the next video bye bye